What's up, guys? So I had to show you guys this because me and Nay was on our way to Chiba Hut to get some sandwiches and salad, and the FedEx guy came. And look what he brought me, okay? So RPG Show sent me some flowers. This was so nice and thoughtful of them. You know, I worked with them for so long now. I think it's been like 13 years, 13, 10, 13 12 years. But they have always treated me like family. They are one amazing company. And I'm so honored to have worked with them for so long and to see their growth. So when I get surprise gifts like this from them in the mail, it's just like, it just really makes my day. There are a lot of companies that I work with, but them themselves, they are one of the best ones. And I mean what I say. Also, in case you guys are wondering about that, um, those tables that I got from the thrift store, well, I finally put them in my living room and here they go. Looks really nice versus the old one that I had. And here goes the other. Sorry about the light because the doggy door is open. But these went so well. So now I got to get me some new furniture for this living room. It's just so hard to find furniture that's comfortable and to your liking. Like, I really do like this furniture, but it's time to give it up. Like, I got to give it up. It's just very comfortable, though. But the tables came out really nice. Um, I'm not sure if I told you guys that. The young man, he had broke the leg on the table. And, you know, being that I'm Muff the Builder, is that's what they call me here. I fixed the table myself with some wood glue and screws. And it's sturdier than it ever was. So I was able to fix that. So I ended up getting the table for $5 because he gave me 15 of it back for the um issue. And that one for 15 So all together, I spent $20 for this really, really nice set. Now, these flowers don't really go here. This little faux plant doesn't go here. Um, it goes on the table where my flowers are at. But it came out really nice. A couple of scratches that it did have, you can't even see them because I used my furniture marker and fixed. Yes, honey, the best strip store find. I found it a lot. Which has I'm not going to buy it. Not on camera. Show everybody how good it is. What kind of sandwich do you have? <laughs> I'm not gonna cut it out. Nope, not gonna. Well, so what kind of sandwich you have? I don't even remember what's on it. I think it's like provolone and. <laughs> and what are you over there eating, my lady? You want a treat? Shit. You want a treat? No. You do want a treat, right? You want a treat? Yeah, I want some Chiba. You want some Chiba, huh? Yeah. Who wants a treat? I want something. This oh, is you recording me. On this is the person who does the voiceover commentary for Pancake. Okay, she okay. does. She does the best commentary. She's never recorded me like this. Come on, just feed me. People in the comments gonna wonder if I'm eating or not. They can definitely tell you're eating. Oh, whoa. They that could, was really rude. They could definitely tell you're fed. Huh. Yes, they can. They sure can. They can tell you're fed. What about this one, honey? There you go. There you go. Picture me folded, what? never that boy. Can't leave the kill without the drugs or the gap. No. If I wouldn't see neck, baby, yeah, that's on my back, boy. Get ear to the max, boy. Finny, that's a fact, boy. I'm from a place where it's dark outside. The late nights, you can't walk outside. Bullets got the names on them. Hit you when your homeboys ride. As your mom shed her tears and she wondering why. Uptown Double H, man, it's be the five. What? MP in the cut, what? yeah, we get it live. Hey. Moses can't go to any hood, but Skinnex Shump could, baby Shump hella good, baby okay, A5 MPY used to be, uh -huh. Page Street, we was right next to JB yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, till I couldn't see And it's like that we live, man, it's full of sin So we cope with the pain, bottle with a gin, ayy New York, brim, fresh corn, red Tim Dice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket's slim, ayy Can't play, boy, never him And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win I'm just trying to change my L's to 100 wins Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to catch my L's to 100 wins. 
that Big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to turn my L's to a hundred wins. Only time I'm gonna tell what it really what did. It did. I'm just trying to turn my L's to a hundred wins. wins. Guys, good morning. Would you like to say good morning back there? Good morning, you guys. So today is not the day, okay? You know how you just wake up, like I barely got any sleep, hot flashes all night long, wake up sweaty. And it's crazy because every time I woke up, I knew exactly around what time it was. Like, you know what I mean? When I woke up, I was like, it's probably like 12 o'clock. Sure enough, it was 12 o'clock. It was 11.57. Then I woke up, I'm like, oh, it's probably three o'clock, 2.30. Then when I woke up, I'm like, oh, it's probably like five o'clock, 3.38. You know, so... I woke up like enough times and not every time that I look at the time, but I woke up hot, sweaty, irritated. And in this morning, you know, I'm not even tired because I, I don't never be tired, but I'm tired of the whole eyelash thing. Like since yesterday, I've been trying to put on my lashes on the right eye, probably like a good six times. I don't try to put this eyelash on, on my right eye and it will not stick on it in a corner. I don't know why my eye keeps getting wet and tearing. I don't know if it's my allergies. I don't feel like any type of sinus issue. I don't even feel allergy irritations, but my eye is like, as soon as I wake up and then I try to put on the lash, that's when it gave me the problem to start watering after that. So I just had to take my lashes off. It just started lifting up. And I'm like, so I gotta go outside looking like this today. I gotta go outside with no lashes on today. Like seriously, I gotta go out and look like, like this with no lashes like this eye was but damn it was it was perfect went on fine now i got eyelashes sitting on my dashboard in my car like when i tell you i got lashes i got lashes sitting on the dashboard okay the only thing i'm missing is the glue like i need i, I, I might as well keep me a thing of glue up in this car I do need to go to target i'm gonna go to target and see if i can find like some baby formula because there's a shortage on baby formula and potato only drinks soy so i did get some from kroger the other day it was their brand um the kroger brand but i'm gonna go to target today and see if they have like um some because i don't really want to run out it's getting hard out here for babies now like dang i don't know what i'm gonna to do at the gym today because my legs when i tell you they are hurting they are really really hurting i might as well just do like some upper body you know because <sighs> The lower part of me is not feeling it. But I do need to go to Target and get the formula. But also, I want to see if I could get a new phone mount, a new cell phone mount for my car. Because look at this. After two weeks, look how I have to have it rigged up now. Like, this part won't stay on the thing anymore. I think because of the sun. So I had to rig it up like that with two rubber bands. Then the knob broke over here. So this part won't stay still. So I had to rig that up with a rubber band. And it still don't hold. Like, it's still not working properly. So now I'm going to have to go and buy a whole new one. I wish I had the receipt. But I know I don't. And I don't have the box. So, and it was $13. And I was feeling that one. And I think it has a lot to do with the sun. So, I'm going to have to get something. <sighs> Hope I don't see nobody today. Today, I really don't want to be bothered. Like, I always say that. But then when I see my, my gym friends, I will stand there and talk to them. So, I always say that. But today is not the day. Like, feel like crap. I wake up one pound extra. Like, I, today is just not the day. Like, today... I really don't want to be bothered, like, for real. I, I just feel like all the effort that I'm putting in is not working out for me when it comes to losing weight. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I hate to feel that way. Like, I don't want to feel like, oh, I'm going to just give up because then what is that going to do? That is just definitely not going to make it any better. I'm definitely not going to lose no weight like that, all right? But um, I really feel like why is nothing working for me? And... And I hate to just, like, throw the towel in because I, I don't like giving up for nothing. But I really don't feel like going to the gym today either because my body is so sore. But I'm going to go on the, I'm gonna go on a treadmill. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on a treadmill for a little while and just see how that makes me feel. And hopefully don't nobody effing bother me because I, I just don't want to be bothered today. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person that be feeling like that. Okay, guys. So I'm done. 9.51, I was there for more than an hour, okay? I got to doing some other stuff. Like, um, it wasn't really more than an hour like that. It was like an hour and 20 minutes, an hour and a half. 
like nothing major like to where you're like go april go so now i gotta go to office depot and uh pick up a print print and then i gotta go to target i want to see if they have any formula uh for princess potato and then after that i'm taking my butt home well no because i'm gonna drive up the street and i'm gonna get my coffee and then i'm gonna take my butt home I'm gonna upload a video and uh probably edit a video you know stuff like that but yeah i'm hot i got my workout on okay i got my little sweatband thing on Before I even go to Target, I'm gonna go right next door to the other fries grocery store and see if they have formula there because um, it's right next door. I forgot about there being another fries right here. So I'm gonna just go to there because if I don't have to go to Target, then that's great because I just really don't feel like going in Target. You know when you go somewhere, you end up spending money that you don't need to spend. And I just don't feel like driving over here. I just wanna be done with my day. Well, I guess I came in here for nothing because they don't have any formula. Like they do, but it's not the kind that she drinks. Just go to Target, I guess, because that Walmart over there, they never have any, like the Walmart that's right here. They haven't had any formula in a minute. And I'm gonna just have to buy some of the store brand soy. I mean, it's probably all the same, right? Pretty sure it's all the same. I think so. Like, it's, it's all the same. It gotta be all the same, okay? So now I gotta go to Target. So you know what, even though I said, even though I said I wasn't gonna come to Walmart because I already came here and they didn't have no formula, that was like days ago. So, I mean, everything is close by, so I'm gonna just go anyway. Cause what if today they got some formula? You know, what if today they got formula? So I'm gonna just go and look at, and take a look because I mean, listen, I am already here kill two birds with one stone because if i don't find it at target i'm gonna get mad and have to come here anyway so i might as well just come and see if they got it today can I have two of those parents choice thank you yes thank you so much thank you have a good day all right so I walked out with three pair of shorts by Reebok for Tinky which was three dollars each and two Reebok jackets which was three dollars each so that was a come up I didn't even expect to go in there for that but I came out and got some nice stuff for him and he even got myself a pair of flare denim jeans for four dollars hi guys i'm finally going home it is 12 53 i have been out the house since 7 23 7 24 this morning from bringing the kids to school to daycare to the gym to the office max to the grocery store to the walmart to the target then i went to another grocery store albertson's and they had some formula Oh, and I went to TV's just now. And now I'm taking my behind home. 12.53. It's damn near 1 o'clock. I know my dog is like, girl, where you been? Where you at? What, what are you doing? But she'll be happy to know that I got her some food. I will say the best trip of the day. I did get me some new shoes, y'all. When I went in Target, you know, they don't do wig, but they didn't have no formula. But, you know, I was about to leave. And I was like, wait, let me see if they got some cute little sandals here. Sure enough, they was they ended up being twenty seven dollars. I got them for eighteen because I had some points from the Circle app on Target, 
plus the shoes was 20% off. So a girl only paid $18 after taxes. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I think I, I think those little sandal strap on sandals was well deserved from all the running around that I did today. I mean, some $4 flare jeans. Okay. What? 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 Uh, yes. Got me some $4 flare jeans from Walmart. Got Tinky some Reebok outfits for $3 a piece. Where is she finding that at? That's why I love the Walmart app. You can scan your heart until your heart is desired. We home. We home, y'all. Yes. We home. Okay, we see Penny. Hi, Poops. Wait, wait. I missed you. Hi. Hi, Poops. Hey, girl. What's it was doing? You missing me? I missed you. Yes. I sure did. Ugh. I'm sorry I took so long. Let me get this stuff. Let me get my coffee off the floor. Where you going, Poops? You gonna get my coffee? But honey, I'm gonna come. Hey, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay here. Huh? I'm gonna stay here. Come on. Where are you going? Come back in. What are you doing? Oh my God. What are you doing up there? I'm not going nowhere, girl. Girl. What you was doing while I was gone? Huh? What you was doing while I was gone? What you was doing? What you was doing while I was gone? Was you behaving? Being a good girl? Yeah. I miss it at you. I take my seat. I miss it at you. Yeah, come on. Help me put the groceries away. Here in Target, Target's, right? With Tati and Panty Pan. Panty's looking so cute, right, Panty? Tell them, you look cute. You got on a pink polo style dress. I knew when I seen those shoes yesterday, you was gonna get those uncomfortable damn flip flops. What else did I get? Because you didn't even look. You went straight over there. No, you didn't. A minute and a half. There's like mad aisles. And I knew when I left out of here yesterday that you was going to get those shoes, and I knew it. Shoes. No. Pancake, sit on those shoes and rub your butt on them. <laughs> rub your more. butt on those shoes. They got them in white too. I was deciding which one's black or white. There goes the white pair right there. I like my little black sandals I got yesterday. I thought they were really cute. For brand muffins. For brand muffins. Wow. She got to wear them, right? I knew you was going to come in here and pick those when I seen them. I knew it. I knew it. I don't want a black pair though. <sighs> Why they gotta be Jesus here, those? I got the red ones I got on from here. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I don't, I don't, they too light. Nah, because I don't have anything to go. I like the green ones. They look so long, right? My feet are so big. My, me, myself. And it's, nobody ain't gonna say nothing about my big feet, but I wonder if they come in a, what a 10 looks like. And I bet you they don't have them in my size in black. Nope. Hey, girl, hey. I don't know if I really want these, though. Oh, okay. Go with your tan. Make sure you look more tan. No, this is my color, honey. But the shoe color. Maybe yeah, but look. Oh, but I think that's big. That's 11. And I need a, I need 11. Oh, those are cute. Oh. Those are cute. Where's the little boonie shorts at? Shorts? Yeah. She don't have any boonie shorts, but one pair. What you doing? Hey girl, hey. You like your new toy? Look in the bay, uh, look at potato. Y'all want some McDonald's for dinner? Yes. All right. When I bring Mumsy to her school, I'll get it for you. You see Cousin JJ? Ooh. Cousin JJ. Why you got them scissors? What you making? Why you ain't get cardboard? I had cardboard on the side of the washing machine and stuff. Of course. So your mom don't have to keep cutting. No, not that thick piece. There's um 
some thinner pieces. That one is that one, not that one. Bread muffins, girl. Hi. <laughs> she doesn't want to be in the vlog, you guys. Why is she acting like this? Say hi. Move over closer to me. Act like we're together. <laughs> Act like we're together. Hi. Come in closer. So we go into this place called QB's in Mesa. It's like it's like a sister store, kind of like to Daiso. Um, we had went like a couple of years before, and now they have a bigger one in Mesa. So we're gonna go there with me, Mumsy, my daughter-in-law, Sharina, Sharina, and my grandson, Julian. So we're about to head out and have a good time. I don't think I'm gonna buy anything because I don't need all that stuff in my house, and I'm just like, I don't need no extra stuff. If I do spend, it's no more than twenty dollars. I kid you not. I'm not gonna get all of that stuff. Mumsy's not going to allow me, right, Mumsy? Right, Mumsy? Right, Mumsy? Right? No. Well, I'm not gonna allow you to get stuff that you don't need. Oh. What's that? There could be some things in there. Yeah. I'm like, it's it's cute little, little Japanese, like a Japanese dollar store, but it's not really a dollar. How much is it now? What, what did it show on that on the website when I sent it to you from TikTok? I think it's like two fifty, three dollars, something like that. So I, I don't need all of that. That I'm, I don't want to call it junk, but I'm gonna just say junk. I don't need all of that. The junk in my house, you know what I mean. So I'm gonna just, you know, window shop. And if I do buy something, I'm not trying to spend no more than twenty dollars. I would like to leave it at not spending no more than ten dollars. You know what I'm saying? But you know, prices have risen, so I'm not trying to walk out there spending you know, seventy-five dollars, hundred dollars. Girl, excuse me, but you can't be playing that I was in my vlog. It. Okay, it what's wrong like, with you? It was a hundred and um, not hundred. Dollar uh, fifty? Yeah, dollar fifty. Oh, okay. Wait, what was a dollar fifty? It's just on the side. Oh, not everything though, right? Yeah. Everything, everything is a dollar fifty. A dollar fifty, unless price as marked. Okay. So that's not bad. Everything is a dollar fifty unless priced as marked. So a girl might get busy. No, I'm just messing with y'all. But a dollar fifty is not bad. But um, what do they be having in there? They have they got little hair things, like little headbands and stuff. So you know, I'm you know, if I do buy stuff, it'll most definitely be for my kids. You know, I'm not trying to. I mean, of course, I'm gonna buy mumsy stuff. But like, if I buy stuff for myself, it'll probably most likely be for my kids, like or things to give away with my week sales and things like that. But not, I'm not about to drop, buy makeup and stuff like that, things I don't need or anything. I'm just, you know, just a little bit of stuff. I'm not trying to spend no more than $20. But this should be very interesting because the one time we did go, what did you think about the other TVs? You have to be on the vlog. You can't be all the way over there looking. Move in like we're part of, like we're family. Bring in the love. <laughs> well, the other cuties, it was nice, but it was small. It was, right? It was major small. Move in like you love me. Like but we did go to Daiso's in New York City when yeah. we was at Grandma's. Did you like that? I like that one yeah. more. That yeah. one was more bigger and it had more selections, but not really because every everyone was there. It was, yeah, because it just had opened. Like I think like the day 
before or a couple of days before we got to New York and had just opened. So there wasn't a lot, there was some things missing, but I don't think it was anything that we would have purchased. Like it was like makeup and things like that. So. Yeah, so we have to we have to go without. Okay, so we in here, you guys, and you are required to wear face mask in the store, which is cool. But they're not the cutest little San Rio stuff. So I'm checking. Those are so cute. I'm gonna get the um, potato one. You should. Right? Like two of them, cause they're a dollar fifty. Snacks. Yeah. When she start eating her baby food, right? These are cute too. These little Ziploc bags. These are adorable. I, oh, those are really cute for a dollar fifty. I don't know what I'm gonna put in them, but I'm gonna buy it. Just because they're so they're cute. Snacks, chips. Yeah. Okay. Look, sit down, honey, so you don't fall out. Okay. Mom's left. She done. She done walked off. Yeah. What is this thing right here? Oh, kitchen pocket. Oh, you will put your stuff in here like this. That's cute if you have like a Hello Kitty kitchen. What you know about that? I see it. I see it. Oh, and Toy Story. Yeah. Self-eating noodles. So it's like self-eating. This is like a heater inside, and we'll heat it up. You gonna get it? Yeah. How much is it? It was. It said ten fifty. And it, it's like. Don't you see ten fifty? Yeah. On the first thing, it's oh, not in so, this section. So everything else is really a dollar fifty, unless it's marked, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's like it only comes with one. Yeah. But it's like it's enough for one. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. I never tried these yogurt mix ones though. The yogurt mix ones. I wonder what these taste like. I'm gonna try these. I think it tastes good. It's hard to I've had those before. I've had all of these. I don't like the soda ones too much. The soda ones? I don't really like that one too much. Okay, I don't know how much is in my cart, you guys, but I did say $20. And I'm gonna add it up because I was just throwing everything in there. But um, 
They got some cute stuff in here. So I did put some things away. I put some things back because I was just getting a little bit carried away as I do a lot. Just dropped my daughter-in-law off and my grandsons. I had JJ overnight with me, so I just dropped him back off home. We had a good time. I spent $49, okay? And it wasn't it wasn't all my stuff. Half of it was for Mumsy. She got this this meal kit thing where it like self-heats. It has like some heat pouch and it cooks the noodles. Like I just put it in the microwave. That was me. But it's like, you know, when those pouches where they get hot and you know, keep your hands warm, but it's it's for the food. So she got one of those. That was eleven dollars for that for some noodles. Which to me, I don't know. Hopefully she like it because she wanted to try it out and then she got like a couple of art supplies and stuff so it was half and half 49 dollars um it was okay you know what i don't I, I don't foresee myself going back to that kind of store like that anytime soon in the near future because everything is small and the price was not a dollar 50 like they advertised on um tiktok it wasn't a dollar 50 anymore it was 175 so they should have actually changed the video and um it just wasn't really worth it. Some of the stuff, when you think about it, for $1.75, you can go to the Dollar Tree and get that stuff. However, they don't supply things like cleaning supplies and things like you would use at the Dollar Tree. I think basically the store is more for the aesthetic, you know, the look versus the usage of it. You know, I could find cooking utensils and little forks anywhere. That's why I was glad that I was able to, you know, put a lot of things back that was in my cart because I did get a little bit carried away. And had I known it was $1.75, I wouldn't have got carried away. But I, I was able to, like, you know, alleviate a lot of things that was in my car. You know, it, it's more or less for the aesthetic. Um, a, a lot of the stuff that y'all see me put in my car was not even at the register. I have put a whole lot of stuff back. It's Saturday. Normally, I do videos on Saturday. Not today. I got enough videos that I can edit, I do believe. So that's what I will do, though. I will sit down in front of my computer eat my salad, drink my margarita, and work on video edit. What are we doing? We'll say hey. Yeah. Jacob. Yes. Who got on little boonie shorts today? Yep. You say hi to everybody. You want to say hi to everybody? So we're here with the doctor's appointment. Here we go. Come in. Let's go. You ready? So somebody got weighed, and they weighed 12 pounds and two ounces of fatty, right? Little chubster. Yes. Yeah. And they said how big she's gotten since they first, very first saw her. Right? Tell them. Check out little rose. They said my thighs was big. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a hangout day today, right? Yeah. Who's going to hang out with my mom? With Bran Muffin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y yes. I love you, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Say hi. Say hi. What's up? What's up? Give my mom some lovings. Kiss, kiss, kiss. See, there you go. Show them how you do. Hmm? Show them how you do. Who's your boomy girl? Say hi, everybody. Wanna say hi to everybody? I guess not. Well, you guys, I'm going to relax. I was going to go to the furniture store, but I decided not to. I'm just going to chill. And I'll go probably like tomorrow. I'm just really not in a good space today as of yesterday. Like, I don't know. I'm just going through some things emotionally. You know, it is coming closer to my son's um, birthday. So it seems like because of Mother's Day and, and in June, I just seem like I feel like for the past couple of years, I don't want to celebrate Mother's Day. I don't want to celebrate my birthday. Um, I just really do like to be left alone. And I hate feeling like that, but it also like put me, puts me in a funk where I just don't want to do you no know, videos. I just really don't want to do much of anything. I don't realize, which sucks because I don't like having that type of attitude. But um, probably maybe next week I'll come back with a live stream. You know, I do have a topic, so... But, you know, I just really wanted to relax, so, yeah. What's up, guys? So, we actually did come to the furniture store, and we are looking for some furniture for the other living room. And so far, I like this right here because it's a sectional, 
and you can split it up, which I like. Hi, potato! Say hi! Say hi, potato! <laughs> I actually do like this one, especially because you can separate it, and I like when you can separate it because that's how the other our other sectional is. Not, a, you know, and I like the space so. This one is pretty decent, Tati. Um, so we're still looking. I'm gonna take some pictures of the stuff that I see. Not the love seat though, just this. Oh no, was it? That was the blue set that looks like this. Oh. I think the blue set is the same thing. What do you think? What do you think? Then we'd have to keep this together with it. Oh my God, gonna take a picture. This one looks like the one that we are trying to get rid of and replace. But the only thing is, you know what? If I was to get this, I would buy that too to go with it. One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah. And much your lover who don't use big words, yeah. So, oh, hey, good morning. Tiki's back there. He says, hey. So, last night I ended up buying a, well, first of all, I hope you guys are having like an amazing day when you're watching this. So, I did end up picking a couch set, and I really did like that blue one, but I just, I like the blue because I did want to pop a color, but I don't know. The blue one was very modern looking, and I think because I be playing with that design game so much, I was like, I want the blue one, I want the blue one. But I ended up getting this gray sectional. The gray sectional was just a lot more me. It, it was more me, it screamed me. It was more conventional. It was more contemporary. Like I like contemporary style furniture. Um, it just was more my style. And also I don't have to replace everything in my living room, like the curtains, the decor. It took me long enough to decide on a furniture set. When I say long enough, I don't mean yesterday. I mean like over the past two years, I've been wanting to buy a new living room set for that one particular living room. But as much as I looked at that store, it will come back and it will go back and relook. I just didn't see something, anything that I was interested in. So finally, I found something that was perfect, was right size, right comfortability. It could do what I wanted it to do. It was a great price. And so I just bought it. I, I really didn't have any intentions on buying a furniture set yesterday. I was just going to look. But it was like, you've been looking for two years and you finally found one. So just buy it and it'll be delivered Saturday. So I'm really excited about that. Like, I guess when you are adulting, you get excited about buying new furniture. I haven't bought new furniture in a couple of years. Well, I did buy a new furniture set for my other living room, but I really don't like people sitting in there too much. Uh, and I think I've had that furniture probably for like, I want to say like five years now. And it looks like, it looks like in amazing pristine condition because i don't let nobody sit up in here you know i got a new coffee table new everything so um and this one is for the family room and um, i wanted it to be comfortable so i'm really excited about that plus i wanted to make sure that there was enough space i am running a little bit late today i would have been already dropped off nevea potato princess but i just was running a little bit late today i didn't sleep in or anything like that but i was moving slow you know when you move slow you just move slow, slow. i don't need commenting at all because i know what i want baby can't you figure it out what's going on in your heart what's it gonna take for you to love take for you to love me what's it gonna take for you to show take for you to show feels I've been trying to take it slow, but my patience slow. Think it's time you let me know. What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? Here, baby, I fear we gon' disappear. 
Do you even want me? Do you even worry that I'm gonna love somebody else? Do you think about me when you're feeling lonely by yourself? What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? What's it gonna take for you to show, take for you to show me? I've been trying to take it slow, but my patience is low. Think it's time you let me know. What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Time's about run now to use those big words, yeah I don't need convincing at all because I know what I want mm-hmm. Baby, dig deep, it's time to make a move on my heart What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? It's gonna take for you to show, take for you to show feels. Yeah. I've been trying to take it slow, but my patience is low. Think it's time you let me know. What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? Okay. You want to watch TV? Come on. Yay. Yeah, no, you don't want to mess with my mom's stuff because you'll be crying again. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, no, no, no. No, no. no. Hey. Oh. Maybe I'll just put my stuff up real quick. Can you help me, Mumsy? Because he's. No, no, no. Love it. From the, from the, from the thrift store. I love it. You like it? Huh? I love it. Will you bring it over there? Because I'm gonna I'm trying to sweep up the mess so that the new furniture could be delivered. You bring it in there. Go in there with it. Yeah. Jalen. Yeah. Oh, broken. What? You know, broken tire. What are you talking about? Jalen, Jalen. No, 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 no. You like that, huh? Thank God the baby's not in there. Looking like he's swinging the heck out of the swing. I said, Well, thank God the baby's not in there. <laughs> yeah, looking like, remember you used to get in that? Well, not this one, but your own, remember? And you used to swing? Yeah, we're, we're baby cousin. Oh, baby cousin's at school, honey. She'll be home in a little while. No, 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 no. Jalen, 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 Jalen. You have to share. Be nice to your brother. Go get him a car. Go give him a car right there so he can play too. Give him one to play with. Thank you. Yeah, that's how we do it. No, 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 not on my new table. No, 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 no. Go play on the car thing. Go play on the car thing. Not on my table. Here. Play with that. Come on. Come on, clean up. Come on. Yeah, watch the TV. Come here, Jay. We got to get the new furniture. Rubs clean and stuff. Where's Jalen at, Julian? 
Jimmy? Yeah, where'd he go? He needs to go. Okay, I'll go find him. Right there, honey. You know you can't mess with that. Cocoa and um sugar. Hey guys, you don't want to mess with that. No, no, that's that's my just diffuser. No, you can look. Oh god, y'all is killing me, killing me slowly. Thanks to Mumsy for being the director for the day. She is producing this video. Damn, why you so close, girl? No, 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 Mumsy, he's back. No, no. What am I supposed to do? He was messing with your Harry Tubman. Oh my goodness, I'm sweating. <laughs> I got at least I got a sports bra on. I'm sweating. Being a grandmother of five grandkids. Let me tell y'all. Trust me when I tell y'all. <laughs> I need a drink right now. Where are you? He's trying to go. I should be the one trying to leave. Yes, yes, baby, yes. Oh, well, why you put him there? You gotta, you gotta figure that out. You signing off? Yeah, I'm signing. I'm signing off. Peace out. Say bye, Julian. Say bye to the camera. Oh, no, 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 no. Your father would not like for you to do that to his glasses. We just gonna put this right here. Yeah. Sign off, guys. Sign it off. Used to talk 24-7 every other second Just to make sure we were up to date Now it's closer to 11 and I ain't here